So what are we going to be making for you folks today? Yes, we're going to be making malt cob bread. Absolutely lovely and malty and got a fantastic flavour. So let's get straight on with the recipe. You want 917 grams of flour. This is straightforward baker's flour. Over here, we've got 187 grams of malt cob bits. You can get this off the internet or if you check my Facebook page, I do sell it as well. 18 grams of salt and nine grams of bread improver. Now that's an option, you don't need to use this, but just remember your dough will take a little bit longer than what we're showing you. And in here is 28 grams of fresh yeast. Now do check the description because I've got the amount for dry yeast in there. And 600 milliliters of water. Right, we'll get straight on with the dough. So first we're gonna put in our water first. Add in our flour. Add in our salt, add in our improver. Just turn this round for one minute. What that'll do? Now we'll add in our yeast. Now your bits will be added in later on, because this is a bit early at the moment. Now we'll mix this for five minutes. Now if you've got a three speed machine, You'll be mixing this on second speed. Well, that's five minutes. We'll now check our dough. Yeah, it's just nice. It's a little bit slack, but don't worry too much about that because the work's now gonna be done by these little babies. Now we'll add that into the dough. And we'll now mix that for another five minutes. All right, dough's ready. Just spray the bowl around with some spray. This just makes the dough come out a little bit easier. Knock it on, and that's it. Now, before we can put our dough in here, what we need to do is just spray this round with some spray oil or anything else you've got lying around. Now, this is what I'm using, it's prep spray. Now, you can get this off from my eBay store. The link is down in the description. Right, we're we'll gonna get our dough out. Now just mould this into a little ball, like that. And we're now gonna leave that to prove up until it gets to about there. And that should take around about 10 to 15. It could even take a good 25 minutes. And we'll just cover her over and put her in a nice warm place. But our dough's almost ready. So I've got two bread tins. I have actually prepped them with spray first and that's a two pound tin. So we just turn our dough out. Don't knock it back. And you want two 800 gram loaves. So split it straight down the middle because it's almost gonna be about right. So once again, all we need to do is mold these up. So flatten it out, fold it over, knock it down and then just roll it up, like that. It's that simple. Then make sure that seam is in the bottom, so that goes straight into your tin. Do the same with this one. That was the top piece. Just turn it over, knock out all the air, fold it over, and then knock it down. So it's nice and flat. And then all you're doing is rolling it back up again, like that. It's that simple. Once again, make sure that seam goes in the base of the tin, like that. So that's our bread done. So we need to be proving these up now. So the proving temperature for these is around about 25 to 35 Celsius. You can either cover them over and put them in a nice warm place or put them into a little prover. Well, I'm gonna put them into a little prover. These will take around about 45 minutes to prove up. So after about 20 minutes, we'll come back, pop our oven on. So it's now time to put your oven on. Your oven temperature wants to be 200 to 210 Celsius. And we'll come back in another 15 minutes. So what I normally do at work, I usually do this. And there's no difference today. 
split down the middle. So we're going to be popping these into the oven and they're going to bake in the oven for around about 25 to 35 minutes, give or take. Now, because it's got malt in it, it will color up a lot faster. And don't forget, halfway through the baking, turn around in the oven to bake the other side. Because if your oven's anything like mine, it's all over the place. Bread's ready. We'll get it out. So that's our bread. That looks very nice. So what we're going to do now is let this cool down and we'll come back and we'll cut them open and have a little bit of a chat about it. So there you go, folks. Wasn't that nice and easy? Malt cob bread is absolutely lush, I must say. We sell a lot of this and it smells absolutely beautiful. Now, if you're looking for the bits to go in it, check out my Facebook page. I do have them for sale. So without any ado, let's cut one open and have a look inside. Now bear in mind, these are slightly smaller. These are 800 gram loaves. So if you're making them at home and you want a standard loaf of bread, which you buy from the baker shop, weigh them a little bit heavier. And there she is inside. Now as you can see, it's not like the rolls. The rolls were more blown up inside. Because it's a loaf, it tends to be a bit more denser. It's still got a nice little bubbles in it. Um, I could have left that a bit longer, maybe looking at it, maybe not. But if I added a little tiny bit of extra dough in, it wouldn't have made much difference to it anyway. But that is beautiful. And that's what I'd expect from a milk cob. Oh, and it smells absolutely beautiful. Hey, I know what it tastes like, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. That is cracking. I mean, I did prove it up a little bit longer than I would normally do. Now, the thing is with this recipe, if you want to put more bits in it, hey, go for it. But I always do tend to go for the same amount of bits all the time. And I always look, like to put my bits in halfway through the dough. I'm not a lover of making bread and adding the bits from the beginning. So I'm going to have some of this now in a sandwich. Bacon sandwiches. Mmm. Ah. <sighs> And if you like this type of content, please subscribe and please share. And don't forget, check out the description because that is where you're going to find your recipe. And also, lots of playlists of previous video recipes. And we'll see you again very shortly in the Crazy Baker channel. Laters!